You know, I sit here dumbfounded. The Paycheck Protection Program, which has provided a lifeline to small businesses across this nation during this pandemic, has been shut down for 48 days now. With over $135 billion in funding, the PPP is only shut down because of Speaker Pelosi's unwillingness to bring meaningful legislation to the House floor. The Speaker would rather use small businesses as political pawns rather than get things done. H.R. 8265, the legislation that Ranking Member Shabbat introduced and I have co-sponsored, would reopen the PPP through the end of this year. On top of that, it would give small businesses the ability to receive a second loan. It would provide more flexibility in how PPP dollars can be spent, and it would simplify the forgiveness process. So instead of working on legislation that would bring more, than, uh, more relief to 30 million small businesses across this great nation, Nancy Pelosi and Democrat leadership have been focused on passing legislation that gives them cheap political talking points for this election cycle. In fact, the Speaker was so afraid that the PPP legislation would pass, she canceled session for today. She knew that her moderate members and my good colleagues on the other side of the aisle were going to sign that discharge petition, which would force that bill to the floor and help small businesses across this great nation who are the engine of our economy. And we cannot lose sight of the American small businesses who are looking for us for financial relief in their most desperate hour, which is why I signed that discharge peti petition this morning. And that calls for the immediate consideration of H.R. 8265. Partisanship should have no place in these halls during this pandemic, and it is my hope that we vote on this important legislation soon. So with that being said, I want to turn my questions to uh, Mr. Patel. Mr. Patel, thank you for being here. Uh, and for the sake of time, I simply uh, want a yes or a no answer to the following questions, um, if you're okay with that. So Mr. Patel, would it be helpful to small businesses to be able to apply for PPP loans through the end of 2020, as would be the case if H.R. 8265 was signed into law? Congressman, absolutely, yes. Okay. Mr. Patel, would it be helpful to small businesses to have access to a second PPP loan as would be the case if H.R. 8265 was signed into law. That would be greatly needed for our industries and many other industries, yes. Mr. Patel, would it be helpful to small businesses to have more flexibility in the eligible expenses for their PPP loan, such as operation expenditures, property damage costs, and personal protective equipment, as would be the case if H.R. 8265 was signed into law? Yes. Mr. Patel, would it be helpful to small businesses to have a simplified forgiveness process, especially for loans under $150,000, as would be the case if H.R. 8265 was signed into law? Yes. You know, it would seem to me that the answer is simple. Speaker Pelosi needs to take swift action to help small businesses across this great nation, rather than using legislation for cheap political bargaining chips. I request and demand Speaker Pelosi bring H.R. 8265 to the floor immediately to help the small businesses across this great nation, which still need our help. They are the engine of our economy. And uh, with that, Mr. Speaker, I yield back. 